to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. A strategy that hell cannot understand. How do you win battles just by dancing? is what kind of a human being are you jehoshaphat you want to win and all you are doing is bringing priests in front of you you see the church is so mysterious that darkness is plaguing a family and god says play music and start dancing and you start dancing in the night i will call upon the lord who is worthy of praise so shall i be saved from my enemies what is the relationship between a dance and salvation what is the relationship between giving and increase what sort of strategy is that that there is he that withholdeth is scattered and yet increases. he withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty what kind of a strategy is this that says to pray for your enemies and even them that persecute you the church is a mysterious strategy that science cannot study. Sociology cannot study. It's a strategy that came from heaven. God's own wisdom. Why will I look at a man who has had cancer for years and brothers and sisters just by calling him a name that is bigger than two of us, this man returns to the hospital and stage four cancer is already gone. What sort of a strategy is this? No surgery, no knife, What sort of a strategy is this? That when a man is speaking, people are lifting their hands to receive. And all of a sudden, you carry a climate of favor and leave that meeting and every door begins to open. What a strategy. The church, listen, so that you will save yourself the headache of trying to explain yourself to society, they will never be able to understand us. We are a mystery. That when something is about to happen, you can be in your room and God takes five years and shows you now. What sort of a strategy is that? You take poison that should kill you and just before it meets your organs, it meets something else and neutralizes just like that. He calls it the church. Listen, if you don't respect what God built, how many of you have felt insulted women that you take your time and prepare a wonderful meal giving it all your skill your intelligence what do you like in this region what do you eat don't embarrass your people oh. huh or a or a soup okay so whatever it is at least we know that you have prepared that soup and imagine that someone comes and downplays your five hours in the kitchen Is this all you prepared? Um, why is the water not too cold? You look at the person and say, I see. You have to respect that this church that we play around with took a long time. It came from the mind of the creator. He thought about the best way to defeat the gates of darkness. And out of all the research that happened in his head, he came up with this strategy called the church. Don't you downplay the church don't you downplay the church the church is god's strategy an indomitable strategy a strategy that wins the church came before witchcraft in our family started the church came before defeat came governments will rise and fall 
nations will rise and fall the pride of men will rise and fall the church is as formidable as the one who built it if you are in agreement say amen, amen. God bless you. number two very quickly the second dimension to the church that you need to understand is that the church more than a strategy now refers to men and women first peter please the church refers to men and women first peter chapter 2 and verse 5 animals are not called the church look up please animals are not called the church the 24 elders are not called the church there is no mention in scripture of the 24 elders or the angelic keda as the church they are part of the heavenly host but every time god calls church church refers to men and women nothing more demons are not called the church plants are not called the church they are part of god's creation so when we talk about the church the church is a, an exclusive definition that only captures men and women are we together now he also as lively stones you are built up a spiritual house and an holy priesthood what for to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Christ Jesus so the real construction of the church is not made with blocks it's made with men it is a building but it's made up of men when Paul was admonishing the church in Corinth helping them to manage the move of the spirit to the end that all things be done decently and in order when he gets to chapter 12 now having talked about the gifts of the spirit then 13 then 14 he now began to talk to them about the church being one body even though many members is that true and he began to let the body of Christ know that they can work harmoniously together that all cannot be just the hand all cannot be just the eyes and he said there are other parts that are comely and Paul made a statement that is very instructive that the more valued you are in the presence of God the more he hides you that means those who are exposed are not really they are all valued by God but the quiet intercessor who is never seen like the heart you see that when you look at the human body you see the eyes you see the head you look at the hands you cannot see all the delicate organs but let anything happen to those organs and what is visible will die this is how the church is there are people who may never be on tv there are people who may not be the joshua selmans traveling around if they ask you to arrange in order of relevance it's easy to come to some of us because we are the ones that are seen but in the eyes of the spirit mama who is praying for us that intercessor who is never seen they are the more power if god is to arrange us in order of importance you will be shocked that some of us that you clap for will be at the very back of that queue. the one who comes to clean this stage and quietly goes away and nobody sees them you can see us so you can sow into our lives you can write something good about us but the ones who nobody sees their reward is exclusively from god Paul was teaching that those parts are even more important. The church refers to men and women who work harmoniously in synergy. Listen carefully to promote the revelation of the Christ and the advancement of his kingdom. This is called the church. The church is a strategy. The church refers to men and women. Listen to me. If men and women refuse to cooperate with God, you will have to invent another strategy like raising up stones to praise Him. Men and women, salvation is not for angels. Salvation is not for the living creatures. Salvation is only for men. See that? You see why Satan cannot be forgiven? You see why his sins will not go away? because salvation is for men when you know this look up please you will now know why satan tries to fight the woman when you are praying for a barren person 
you are, you, your, 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 your motivation and your intelligence is beyond just showing that you are powerful. Satan is stopping bodies because there is a law of territory. Without a body, listen carefully, without a body, you cannot function in this side of God's kingdom. Even the word, when he needed to come to this side of his kingdom, even though it was his kingdom, he had to hang in the realm of the spirit for nine months until a body was prepared for him. One of the reasons why we know that Jesus will come is because he departed with his body. So we know that he has a body to return back. He doesn't need to wait for any virgin again. He can come back. So anybody who does not believe that Jesus will return, remind them that he went with a body. He already has the body. He has satisfied the condition that allows this territory to receive him. A body has now prepared for me. Are you seeing why things like untimely death and the rest are dangerous? Because Satan knows that the only way to stop you from being an effective church is to separate your spirit from your body. There is a level of health that this body must be in for your spirit man to be able to cohabit. If it's deteriorated beyond a certain level, the spirit will have to leave. We call it death. So when you minister long life and you declare safety for people, it's not just a religious thing. In Jesus' name, arrive safely. No, you are saying, may your body be kept and preserved because there is an assignment that that body needs to do. Are we, are we blessed now? God is expanding to us the way of the kingdom more perfectly like he did in Acts chapter 18 so that we understand the motivation behind the decrees we make and the spiritual activities that we communicate. You see, in this kingdom, it's not what you do that produces results. It's the understanding that supports what you do. Two people can do the same thing. For one, there will be no results because there is no understanding that supports it. The seeds that fell on good ground are they that heard the word and understood. Have I lost you? Are we still together? So the church is made of men and women. Watch this. I believe in excellence. I believe in administrative prowess. But anytime you exalt the pulpit more than the men, Anytime you exalt the aces more than the men, anytime you exalt the mic more than the men, the most important component as far as the church is concerned is the men. More than the backdrops, more than the visuals, many times we focus on the acoustics, the aesthetics, and all those things, they are wonderful. I will give you pastors after my heart, Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15 shepherds and they are mandated to equip God's church to give them wisdom and knowledge that is the spiritual meal no matter how wonderful you are as a man if you are not fed and nourished to grow and to have stature listen to me you cannot be called an effective member of the body Ephesians chapter 4 Paul mentoring the church in Ephesus when we get to verse 9, he says, Ephesians chapter 4, let's read from verse 9, then we jump to 11, or verse, yeah, verse 9. Ephesians chapter 4, media, can you help us? Let's look at 8. 8, I beg your pardon. Now watch this. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive. Look up it. And he gave gifts to men. The gifts are not talents. The gifts are men. He gave men to prepare men. So the ones you call ministers are not really the ministers. The ones you call ministers are the gifts that prepare the ministers. The ministers are the ones who receive from the gift. That means you. So the one you call reverend, apostle, pastor. I know we say they are ministers. But from God's idea... They are the gifts that prepare the ministers. What is ministry? Any and every scriptural contribution that makes for the revelation of Jesus and the advancement of his kingdom is called ministry. Ministry has nothing to do with the pulpit. It has nothing to do with a building. 
any scriptural contribution motivated by your love for Jesus and intended to reveal the Christ and advance his kingdom if your pregnancy comes from your love for God and is intended to bring a child that reveals Jesus that pregnancy is called ministry if your giving seed in the church is motivated by your love for Jesus and intended to promote the revelation of Jesus and the advancement of his kingdom that act of giving is called ministry ministry is not defined by a mic and what you say no it is not the activity that defines ministry it is the motivation and the goal so there are many people preaching but they are not in ministry why because the litmus test they failed it there number one the motivation is not from the love for God and it's not intended to reveal Jesus and bring him glory no matter how religious that activity is it is not ministry Isaiah was already preaching from chapter 1 to 5 but then chapter 6 the Bible says in the year that King Uzziah died I Isaiah saw the Lord when he saw the Lord you would think you say Isaiah you've been going around preaching he had a lamentation who shall we send whereas the man is still preaching and doing ministry and heaven is still saying who shall we send in fact when he met the Lord and said I am a man of unclean lips God would have said no 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 you are too harsh on yourself he said kneel down they carried a coal of fire to touch him meaning it was true hear me never downplay men because it is with men that Jesus is lifted and Jesus is glorified every evil in the world today came through men every deliverance in the world today came through men including the man Jesus every trouble in society today the armed robbers are not spirits the terrorists are not spirits they are motivated by spirits but spirits will not disturb them if they did not carry bodies anything that carries a body the devil is interested in it because he knows that that is a potential worshiper that is a potential lifter of the name of jesus so don't say who did i trouble that trouble is coming to me let me tell you where the trouble is that you came with a body is the trouble We have an idea that if I don't trouble anybody in the village, nothing will trouble me. It's a joke. Provided you carry a body, Satan will not wait till you repent before he attacks you. He knows what bodies can do. That's why the church is called the body of Christ. What does that mean? The body that he uses. It's only the head. We are the body. So when the Christ wants to lift someone from a wheelchair and the hand is not working well, if you want to lift somebody from a wheelchair and your hand is not working well even though you have the power are you seeing why many people are not healed because the hands those who are playing the role of the hands have not been playing it well what of the eyes the eyes some of you have seen patients who have maybe acute states of glaucoma and sometimes they can see some they may not even see this and they'll come and hit it so if the body of Christ just moves like that into error, where are the eyes? The eyes are misleading the body somewhere. Find out what role you have to play in the body and make sure you play it well. There are times that you can have just a little boil, maybe around your ears or, the, or maybe Whitlow. How many of you have had this thing called Whitlow? Your whole body will paralyze because of a tiny finger. This is what is happening in the body of Christ. Because of one person's carelessness, one person's mistake, everybody suffers. Can I tell you this? I'm not preaching, this is not a pastor's conference. But I, let me just steal out a minute or two and tell you this. Individualism will destroy the body. We are a corporate body. If I do well and you fail, your failure will still affect me. We have to know that we are interconnected no matter how i love or hate you that's my own business but as far as moving together is a train no matter how the eyes quarrels with the hand for as long as the hand wants to move forward the eyes must lead it and for as long as the eyes wants to see well the balm that you put in the eyes will be held by the hand are we together do not say it does not concern me that was a mistake of Esther. 
when Haman was plotting to annihilate the Jews he did not know that it will only start outside the palace but it will eventually come here believers hear me every time you hear that the church is suffering anywhere whether it's in Anambra here or Meiduguri or anywhere across the world don't say it's not my business you are making the mistake of Esther Mordecai warned her and said do not think the king is yet to know you are a Jew so by the time he's done with us they will come into the palace and check if there is any Jew there and they will find you if Vashti left you can leave too and Esther said let me let me use the opportunity that I have now to be an effective member are we together so you hear that a church is crying a, a program like this is happening and you are an empowered person you are a multi-millionaire you're a billionaire they don't worry it's not my church I don't care by the time somebody who should repent in that church who is close to your son who can destroy your son and lead him to cultism it was that meeting that would have led that person to get born again now you did not sponsor that meeting he will continue with your own son it may not affect you but eventually it is that son that will give you heart attack to die and you will leave the money to fools who will destroy it anything you do for the church eventually blesses you you don't have to ask once jesus is going to be lifted and jesus is going to be glorified you can say you know what there is a bag of water i don't know all i know is that jesus is lifted in this program let this bag of we have to shelve all these this, this childish and funny things that happen across the body of christ it is me my reputation joshua selman no if the whole world is my church the world will fail because i am only a dimension of god it means i will rob the body of christ from seeing other aspects of god i must be unashamed to know and admit that i can't be the whole church when jesus divided himself he called himself the bread of life he divided himself among 12 apostles none of them carried the whole bread all of them carried little pieces for you to have the whole bread back they must come together and form that bread everybody only carried a piece of the bread if the only thing you teach is prosperity the church will suffer if the only thing you teach is holiness the church will suffer if the only thing you teach is salvation the church will be saved but they will not grow if the only thing you teach is transformation those who are saved will be built but you will not have in gathering again Can I encourage you? I'm glad that I'm speaking. The church in Onisha must make up their minds that in the name of Jesus, no more fighting. Look, I know we don't agree. I, I, have, I, I have a problem with the way you do your thing, but that is not enough reason to hate you. I should be able to see you and say, good afternoon, sir. How is everything? Oh, you are going for midweek service. May the Lord bless you. And not that he closes the door and says, all these people wait. No, 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 no. It is true that we are not equal, though. Don't confuse that one. We are equal in Christ, but our sacrifices and election of grace have separated us into spiritual cadres. We must admit that. However, I must be able to hug a man of God with joy, to hug a brother and sister, and say, wow, okay, you believe in this, I don't believe in this, you believe in deliverance, I don't believe in deliverance. No problem, no problem, it's all right. You can hold that perspective, but it's too small a reason to cause us to fight. Hear me, the church in Onisha, there is a dimension of the power and the grace of God will soon be praying that cannot be seen by an individual. This, you already know you are in error when you think you are the only one God is using. That already is an attack. Let me tell you in advance. I'm saying this especially to the younger ministers who are rising. In as much as you are doing well, we have to be careful because most of you, you listen to us and you listen to people around and you ship in little little fragments of error and just grant it there is no single individual who has the power to carry all of God while I'm standing here preaching only God will open your eyes to see the intercessors around the world whose prayer lives are by far greater than my own who are now helping me to stand how could I take all the credit to myself no matter how anointed I am here is a man that God has raised to put this meeting to gather us 
it doesn't matter whether you like me or not but now i have come and you have received me it's not just because i'm anointed here is the person who created the platform what of the other bishops who gave him a right hand of fellowship both the ones who preserve the weapons and the one who goes for war they all deserve honor can i tell you this until we learn to mutually honor and respect one another there will never be unity in the body now watch this imagine that i come up here after celebrating me and saying many nice things i come up here and i rubbish every pastor rubbish your bishop rubbish our, our dear man of god from germany and i make all of you look as if you are not serious you are not serving god you don't know anything let me bring you revelation that is error i may be sincere but it's error you may love me but you'll be disappointed in me and your heart will not be open to receive again it is at the standpoint i have come not to outshine i have not come to intimidate i have come to lift up your hands together like a family to lift up jesus are you learning now don't be a notable gospel artist that god is blessing in the city and then you see someone like a come this my dear sister you see this lady who is here and she's singing while she's singing you're like oh don't mind all these people they can't sing anything where is that my man you see when you start thinking like that it looks like just because you prayed in tongues afterwards does not mean you know what you are saying it's an attack everybody created by god has a role to play as far as the revelation of jesus is concerned we who god has granted the the rare privilege the rare privilege i repeat the rare privilege is a privilege if god were to call us based on our prayer lives based on our word lives based on our holiness levels some of us will not even be close to this place because my goodness my god there are people who love god there are people who give they may not be educated they may not they may they may have never gone to any country but they love the lord with all his heart be careful lest on the day that jesus comes will be very disappointed you will be surprised to see those who will be in front can i speak to the younger ministers my dear people listen to me i love you and i believe what god is doing but all this little little pride that is already manifesting in your prayer group fighting one prayer group fighting this kill it now after this service go and hug the other brother and say do you know what um we may not agree with this and that but it's not the issue of who is a champion who is this one who is that one the, the spirit of competition came from the deprivation that africa brought anytime you grow up in a territory of deprivation the the instinct to outshine is a weakness in men you must conquer it by the prevailing power of the holy spirit Please sit down, please sit down, please sit down. Are we together? I have the rare, listen, let me tell you, and I don't mean to brag, forgive me if I do, but I know what it means to be honored. I have stood before kings, I have stood before royalties, I have stood before nobles. I know what it means to be honored. God has blessed me in a way that it would take me many lifetimes to tell him thank you. But I made a vow and a covenant with myself that I will never miss a generation that looks up to me. I will teach them that no matter how high you rise, you only rise because someone was holding the ladder as you climb. Be wise enough to look down and say both me who is up there and everyone who helped to hold that ladder. The person who held, who held the ladder is even more important than you. Because if the person leaves that ladder from that height, he will go down. So for those of you who disrespect every other man of God and respect Joshua Selman alone, you are in error. Straight to the point, let me just give you a godly counsel now. The moment you find yourself selecting people to honor, and you see our fathers here who, are, who labor in word and doctrine, some of you have never given them an please permit my bias some of them are from your soil you have never given them 10 naira right now in your pocket there are all kinds of envelopes you are waiting to see me and give me as good as that is if you cannot honor the people who serve day and night i'm only here for two days and i'm going back 
but the people that pray for you when you are in trouble they are the people who stand for you you see as men of god we have to be wise this is already part ministers conference but um general conference it's impossible to fight and have quarrels when you have this disposition oh. there must be that element of love if i come into a place like this when i came they graciously took me to your bishop and we had a very pleasant time we spoke the ones who came yesterday and um a bishop here and all of the men of god the members will love you even if you shout and quarrel them when they discern that you really value them sincerely i hope you are learning what i'm teaching i know our time is a bit stretched but just sit down you call this you want a revival in the night we are going to speak about revival and the move of god the coming move of god i'm going to be teaching you while we do the miracle service but for now listen to me my brothers and my sisters it is important east of the niger hear me there is a level of unity that you have attained that's why the devil has not been able to penetrate you thus far if you lose that unity you have lost more than money it's better to lose a billion dollars and preserve that unity stop fighting stop looking down on one another stop enjoying the pain of one another when you hear that a man of god listen to me when you hear that a man of god is sick don't celebrate it and say oh he doesn't know anything about faith he was laughing at deliverance no 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 don't let him lose this body remember any minus to this body is minus for an army you hear that there is a rent problem and that man is about to come to shame and reproach somebody should quickly run. you can rebuke him later but for now for the sake of the work I hope you still love me sorry that this is hard this is an apostolic and a prophetic conference you invited me for a conference look at this my brothers and my sisters I give you counsel from the Lord the reason why certain revivals cannot come because it takes a corporate anointing to bring it no matter how you excel as an individual you will not be able to capture certain dimensions of God so let's be careful so that the devil does not deceive us into believing we are the only ones who are doing well what this man is doing is a major work but every one priest here every one man of God regardless of the denomination and fathers of faith please with all due respect don't despise the young ones coming they may have their tantrums they may make their mistakes they may be arrogant correct them in love but don't despise them they represent the Samuel who will help Eli when you despise them and someone else mentors them they will be loyal to the one who raised them not you this is also true for politicians if you are here you are a politician please listen no matter how many years you spend you are in office for only eight years or i don't know how many years they do it now you, how many eight years or whatever it is the purpose of access is to help you raise men shame on anybody who does not raise anybody whether in ministry whether in whatever it is you have wasted the access god gave you this is one of the reasons why i love your region as a man of god don't rise alone don't shine alone who are you raising who are you teaching what god taught you the death of a few people should not paralyze what god is doing because they should have transferred something the church refers to men and women so on sunday every time you stand do not just think the members that come to see now are just sheep they are the ministers you are the gift and hear me there are members who also don't listen a sheep does not have a system of defense a sheep does not have horns it depends on the guidance of the shepherd you see that there's a difference between a sheep and a goat a goat has horns it can fight a sheep does not have any instrument to fight on its own it depends on the protection and the covering that comes from the shepherd so the sheep's safety is how close it is to the shepherd if it goes far 
the wolf will come and devour it automatically when satan wants to destroy you the first law of destruction is isolation through pride he takes you out of the bigger fold and keeps you alone and makes you believe you are doing well then he allows your spiritual fire to go down then he will attack you one day that it will take intercession and the mercy of god for you to recover please don't miss tonight i'm going to be sharing with you something about the coming revival and the move of god so the church is a strategy the church refers to men and women let me give us the last one and then we'll pray number three the church finally is an institution the church is an institution hebrews chapter 10 please from verse 24 and 25 the church now refers to an institution an institution that preserves the only listen to me the only potent or the most potent institution that preserves morals preserves godliness preserves love are we together now is this institution called the church law courts can help to manage criminals manage litigations prison cells and correctional centers can help to manage people who have become a nuisance to society or defaulters of the law but the church is the only institution that sustains the power and the ability to raise men from darkness to light and from light to become objects and influences around the state the church is one of the mind control systems that control the health of a territory i can pick anybody at random from onicha and if i pick 10 believers or 10 citizens and examine them based on their moral values based on their sense of leadership responsibility and so on their lives are a report card they tell me how well this institution called the church is serving within that territory are we together and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and unto good works 25 it says not forsaking the assembling of ourselves as the manner of some is but exhorting one another and also much the more as you see the day approaching every sunday weekday and every other day millions of people within your region the east of the niger within this nation africa and the world gather under this name of jesus christ under the mentorship of several leaders with different degrees of training can i tell you this men and women of god and the church as an institution is the principal shaper of the convictions and the morals of people within a society when you see high crime rate high irresponsibility rate the church must receive a major portion of that blame we must come up with programs more than sermons that help to fix people programs that are referenced from scripture but are applicable to all and sundry it does not have to be for christians alone are we blessed so the church as an institution must have its expression in schools that control the mind of the young ones when students begin to fail exams when moral decadence begin to grow in the school when students are not respectful younger people disrespecting the elders when the when the values that preserve society are lost is because something about that institution called the church is failing let's mark our work now based on the reference of scripture can you say the young people you are training are becoming responsible young gentlemen can you say the ladies you are training are becoming virtuous ladies who love jesus and love nation the church is a strategy against darkness and spiritual powers the church refers to men who reveal jesus and promote his agenda the church is also an institution that raises men preserves morals preserves values 
no society can truly grow effectively without the value systems that the church promotes even if it's a non-christian territory i can tell you behind their value system will be a lot of components that are consistent with scripture they may not admit the god of the bible but there is the gospel as the message that saves and then there is the gospel as a value system that transforms society both are found in the church the message that saves affects individuals the value system that transforms affects territories you can be saved and yet your territory is not safe because you have embraced the message but you rejected the value system what then is my call this afternoon my call is that the church must return to her position in power onisha you are a city a region and by extension the entire anambra state and then the east of the niger it's an honor to stand in partnership to speak and to challenge us at such a time as this the world is waiting to see if the church will fail but i i reminded you and i'm still reminding you again that the church cannot fail we can fail as individuals but the church will remain because the jealousy of god is behind it if there is any punchline to all that i've said among the many things i've said i think one of the clearest points that you should take back is the unity of the faith the unity of the faith the unity of the faith i hope that by evening we'll have the time to pray and if god allows we'll just select a few leaders to come and stand up here in unity as we speak over anambra state speak over please don't miss tonight it's going to be a highly prophetic time as we pray the days of superstar christianity over there are four things that must be found in that institution let me end it this way any church that does not have these four things is not a building it's not an institution it's something else number one in every church as an institution there must be listen carefully there must be the preaching of the gospel of salvation to the end that sinners save. Number one, any Christian institution that does not allow for the preaching of the gospel to the end that sinners be saved is not the church. We may differ, like I said, in denominations. There are all kinds of denominations across, across the globe. But for any place to be called a church, like the building an institution, no matter how beautiful the edifice is, there must be, number one, the preaching of the gospel of salvation to the end that sinners be saved. Jesus must be the epicenter of that gospel. Number one. Number two, for any church to be called a true church, the second thing that must happen is that there must be a sound exegesis of doctrine doctrine is the course curriculum that matures believers the name given to the course curriculum that matures believers is called doctrine doctrines are not opinions doctrines are established truths hebrews chapter 6 from verse 1 and 2 it gives us six foundational doctrines of the faith The course content that matures believers remember yesterday our teaching yesterday night that the greatest need of a non-believer is what salvation the greatest need of a believer is what transformation it is doctrine that matures believers believers are not matured by opinions and stories doctrine the Bible basically contains three things number one the Bible contains promises Number two, the Bible contains principles. Number three, the Bible contains prophecies. So every time we expose ourselves to scripture, we're interacting with the promises of God, the principles of the kingdom, and prophecy. Scattered in every Bible story is the revelation of Jesus and the precepts of the kingdom. They are called the mysteries of the kingdom. Matthew 13 and verse 11. It has been given unto you 
to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven doctrine we must restore doctrine doctrine gives a unified system of growth are we together there is a universal way or an acceptable way to being saved if you do not go through it there is the doctrine of salvation you cannot if you say you are saved i will ask you what you did romans chapter 10 from verse 8 down to 12 gives us god's blueprint on how people are saved that with the heart man believes unto righteousness then with the mouth confession is made unto salvation if you do not believe with your heart and you do not confess with your mouth you are not saved it's as simple as that are we together here is where my bias comes in what we have come to know in the body of christ as the apostles creed now all those who are not of the anglican faith here please do not mind i, I don't in any way downplay what you believe and what you stand for but i'm just saying that this in my mind is a very very commendable representation is a creed that that just sets in pace the foundation of the christian faith is an announcing of what you believe are we blessed so number one the preaching of the gospel number two the teaching of the word doctrine being the cost content on what we teach believers number three every true church listen carefully every true church must give allowance for the love and the power of the holy spirit to find expression providing supernatural solutions to the problems of men the church is also a solution center there must be a space given to the holy ghost and i'm not just talking of falling down and shouting no i'm talking about the fact that the holy ghost must have allowance to provide supernatural solutions to men in healings miracles transformation restoration breakthroughs do not say results don't matter they do matter they do matter people come from families that are plagued with all kinds of things poverty rejection degradation while the the word of god comes doctrine works on the belief systems of people the holy ghost must come he must be there as the confirmer of everything that is taught so i come from a family where for instance no one has seen the light of day no one has risen to a position of influence but because i come to church the holy ghost can now find me there and break that yoke of darkness and give me room to open doors on account of my result my family members can now come come see a man she said that has told me everything one madman who received healing and deliverance brought 10 cities to jesus one woman as a prostitute who had an encounter with jesus christ went and brought so many people results matter they are real instruments of publicity they bring many to jesus and then finally every true church must have space for fellowship and the demonstration of the love of jesus both to members and society please listen very carefully every true church must have a space that demonstrates and reveals the love of jesus very practically both to members and then to society this is where things like charity this is where things like reaching out to society helping the poor society does not have to believe in jesus to benefit from us our greatest goal is that they come to the saving knowledge of jesus but society have to feel that the life of god is within a territory hear me no matter what denomination no matter what christian sect if these four things are not captured there it is not the church the preaching of the gospel of salvation to the end that sinners be saved jesus christ being the epicenter of that gospel number one test number two a sound exegesis of doctrine to the end that believers be transformed how are they transformed by changing their belief systems sustaining superior belief systems that improve their work with god and improve their being relevant as far as nation building is concerned number three there must be an allowance for the demonstration of the power of the holy spirit providing supernatural solutions for people and then number four 
the love of Jesus must be revealed in a practical and a definite way first to those who are of the household of faith like the Bible demands but then it extends to the society everywhere if every one of you is involved in these four things you qualify to be called the church if any church building any denomination is involved in these four things you qualify to be called the church anything outside of it is just religion and a sheer waste of God's time have you been blessed this afternoon please rise up on your feet thank you for your patience it takes time to learn the ways of God in the latter times many will not endure sound doctrine this is the church now you learn that the church is a strategy men who promote kingdom come and an institution that becomes a preserver of morals and so on and so forth I like you to pray one prayer for this afternoon father the role that I have to play as far as the church in Onisha now you understand what I mean by the church in Onisha the church in Onisha means the universal body of Christ within this region lift your voice and pray the role that I have to play whether as a businessman as a pastor as a politician as a career person as a student I obtain grace from heaven lift your voice and please pray lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray in the name of Jesus I obtain grace by the power of the Holy Spirit I obtain grace hallelujah now please just lend me a minute more before I drop the mic if if um, Reverend Cannon allows I had requested that for the miracle service tonight we're going to be I'll just share a bit on the coming move of God and revivals just a few keys to initiate and sustain revivals and then we'll have some time to pray we'll be praying for the sick I'll be ministering to people prophetically but I want to request please write a list is that all right write a list of everything you desire to see that must live your life please bring it even for your loved ones who may not be able to make it doesn't matter from any nation we have a covenant of answered prayer with God I want you to write it we're all going to gather this prayer request here and in the name of Jesus let us see the devil this night that is so powerful as to not allow you rise the Lord bless you the Lord increase you in Jesus name Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.